Hi guys, this is Luciana from Eye for Beauty. Um, I know I haven't been posting videos in the last several weeks, and there's a good reason for that. Um, aside from just being having been really busy with work, um, my fiance and I just took a vacation to Hawaii for about nine, ten days, and so we just got back like literally last night. I'm still pretty jet lag, um, and then also. I created a second YouTube channel um, a few weeks ago. It's called Lucy Lin. And the second YouTube channel is going to be more of a vlog channel. And in that channel, I'm going to be speaking Indonesian for some of the videos. And, but I'll try to put in English subtitles in those videos. Um, but then some of the videos will also be, will be in English with hopefully an Indonesian subtitle on it. So yeah, so that is my update for um, why I haven't been posting videos in this channel in the last few weeks. Today, um, I just got home from work and I was cleaning up my suitcase from my Hawaii trip and I thought I will do a what's in my skincare slash makeup bags for my travel to Hawaii. So let's, let's start with this bag. Okay, so in this bag I have my two ordinary serums that I'm currently using. This is the Arbutin serum for uh, lightening my hyperpigmentation. And then this is the this is the uh, rose hip seed oil serum for my oily skin. So I haven't post I think I've posted a review on this one and I will Put that up above i haven't talked about this at all yet in my channel and i was thinking of doing a review on it it's a drier oil compared to a lot of other oils and and i know it sounds counterintuitive you know putting oil on my oily skin but um it actually does work. I don't want to give it away, give away too much information on this because I do want to create a separate video for this. So yeah. Okay, so those two. And then I also have my eye cream. This is the Misha Gumsel eye cream and this is a one ounce box. I also ha I haven't talked about this that much either, but if you guys want me to like review this, um, let me know. And then I have my Misha's sunblock. This is the all around safe block sebum zero sun, um, 50 plus uh, SPF 50 plus PA triple plus. I have a full review on my blog about this sunblock and I will link that down below. This tiny sample size of the pore, the pore professional benefit primer. This is actually really good. Like when you put it on your face, it makes your face feels really soft to the touch and it also makes it feels really smooth. So I really like this. I'm not sure how much this is though in the store. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm considering buying the full size. Now onto my hair products. So in the same bag, I also have my hair products. Um, first, I have this one. So this is the Oribe Dry Texturing Spray. This is kind of like a hairspray, but it's not really a hairspray. It doesn't really make your um, hair as crunchy as normal hairsprays do. I have a new stylist that I go to now and he uses this on my hair. So I decided to buy um, the travel size. Um, not just for travel, but just for like for daily life because Oribe is a, it is an expensive line of hair products. And so the full size is like expensive. So I bought the travel, the travel one. I also have the Oribe Gold Lust nourishing hair oil um, again i bought the travel size because the full size is expensive because it is oribe i also bought again the travel size for the oribe shampoo for beautiful color um, this is their color line i and i'm actually trying these out that's why i bought the travel size not exactly for trips or anything like that and along with the or those oribe products i got a free sample this is the oribe serene scalp 
soothing leave-on treatment. I actually haven't tried this. I just have it in the bag, but I didn't get a chance to try it. Okay, so that is what's in this bag. In my, I have a separate bag just for my makeup. Um, in this bag, I have my Buxom um, eyeshadow palette. That I really like using this shade right here for my transition color. Sometimes I use a shimmering one as well, so that's why I brought this along. And then I also have almost all of my ColourPop eyeshadows, so I have those. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of the ColourPop eyeshadows. And then I have my eye primer from Bare Minerals. And then I have my brush. Oh, I already put, I already put down my two other brushes that I bought, but basically I bought like my brush set in this bag as well. I have my bronzer, Bahama Mama bronzer. Um, I have my sugar ball cushion cheek color. I really like this because it's kind of like a cushion and it's in a cushion form. So, you know, instead of like brushing the blush on my face, which I feel like, you know, my foundation is going to get brushed off, I can just pat, pat this, like pat it on my cheeks. So, and this is the color, oops. And this is the color that I have. Um, I believe this is number five. Okay, so I have that, and then I have my mascara, my tart, my go-to tart mascara. Um, I also had my Kat Von D tattoo liner in here, but I used it this morning, so I took it out. And I have my trusted Cosrx Acne Pimple Master Patch on here, just in case I get any. Um, zit while I was in Hawaii which I actually I didn't get that many zits when I was in Hawaii but it was like when I came back here suddenly I just got like a few zits on my face I guess it was from the plane ride okay and then I bought I also bought brought my pore Arizona pore master sebum control primer but I actually never used it because I've been using the um that mini benefit pore professional primer um this is supposedly a dupe to the benefit pore professional primer um i again i haven't used this i haven't opened this i'm going to soon trying to finish up my current one first but i will let me know if you guys want me to do a video comparing this and the benefit pore professional primer oh and also i had my BB cushion in there. I usually only bring one BB cushion, but in this trip I bought two because um, I've been using these two alternately and I forgot which one, which one of these I was running out of. And so I decided to, buy, to bring both of them just in case. Okay. So that is in my eye makeup bag. <clears throat> All right, and then I have a, again, a separate bag. So this is a third bag just for my, my lip product. So in this one, I have my Ecosol Shaker Tint. I have my Peri Para Butter Pen Lip Tint slash Lip Balms. There's two of them. And then I have my Peri Para Airy Ink Velvet, just one of them. I think this is shade number five. I will, I, I will link, I've done videos on, on these lip products. So I will just link those videos down below if you want to check them out. Um, and then I have my new, um, the new lip products that I've been trying out. These are the Secret Cree lip products. I don't remember if I did a video on these. I think I did. If I did, again, I will link it down below. Uh, and then I also just have my lip, my Vaseline lip therapy. This is like still the best lip balm ever. If I'm just using, if I'm just looking for a lip balm that doesn't have tint. So yeah. So all of that is in this, whoops, in this small bag right here. I have a separate bag that I put in my carry-on. These are masks. So I have my sheet mask in here. I mean, obviously I didn't use most of them. 
And then I also have like a bunch of my eye mask. These are like one of those steaming, um, steam eye mask that helps you sleep and helps with headaches. Also bought, I also brought my sh steam shoulder mask um, because I my shoulders get tight really easily, and so I like to put this on like at night or just whenever my shoulders tighten up. Yep, so that is in my mask bag. Usually when I travel domestically within the United States, I don't check in my uh, luggage. I just do a carry-on and a personal item. But this time to Hawaii, I actually did check in a luggage because um, there's a few things that I didn't have time to buy the travel size for, and so I had to bring the full size. This is the bag that I put in my luggage um, that has full size, full size products. So one of the things that I didn't have time to buy a travel size product on is my cleanser. So I've been using the Salicylic Acid um, Daily Gentle Cleanser by COSRX. Um, I really like this, and so I didn't want to risk buying a different cleanser that was full, that was, um, travel size and I didn't have time to buy a travel size for this so I had to bring this along with me like I had to bring the full size along with me and I also have my lip my this one my lip makeup remover I think this is by Misha so that also goes in this check-in bag I have my makeup remover so instead of carrying a cleansing oil which I could have because again, I'm checking in a luggage. Um, but I just didn't feel like carrying a full-size cleanser oil, so I just brought makeup remover. This is to, um, I use this in place of the cleansing oil. I also could have bought a full-size toner and essence, but I didn't want to bring, you know, a full-size toner and essence or a, or a full-size beauty water. So I bought my handy Neogen Real Sika Pad. This is very convenient, so because it's just i think have i done i think i've done a video on this again if i have i will link it down below um but yeah so it's like this pre-soak pad that has two sides and so this works as my toner my oh my exfoliator my toner and my essence so this is very convenient my fiance even used this too and other than that so i have some cotton pads for the eye makeup um i also bought like my big sample bag just in case i'm like just in case i run out of like a moisturizer for the day or something so that is it to my video today about what i the the travel bags that i bring with that i brought with me to my hawaii trip for my skincare and my makeup and my hair products so again if you guys like this kind of video give it a thumbs up if you want me to review any of the products that i mentioned please let me know down below don't forget to like or i already said that don't forget to subscribe and follow my channel eye for beauty so i will see you guys in my next video bye